Hey guys, CJ here and welcome back to an all new Hybrid News Now. Lots of interesting stories for you guys today, but man, first I just want to take a second to talk about that Rogue One trailer. That was ridiculous. I mean, I, I missed the boat on doing a reaction. I overslept uh, and woke up like four hours after the trailer came out, but good lord, I was flipping out the whole time. I'm sure you guys can imagine it if you've seen any of my previous reactions. But let's get down to the news, and in our top stories today, we'll catch you up on an all-new Marvel TV series coming to Freeform, a slick new poster for Kingsman 2, and we'll talk a little bit about the Suicide Squad reshoots that are currently happening in Los Angeles. In that top story, let's talk about Marvel television. And before we start, I want to warn you that no, this is not an elaborate April Fool's joke. I know a lot of people have made jokes about this in the past. This is real. This is not a drill. First reported exclusively by Variety, Disney and ABC Studios have announced Cloak and Dagger, an all-new TV series coming to their channel, Freeform. Haven't heard of Freeform? Well, that's because up until this past January, it was better known as ABC Family. The channel is geared toward a younger generation, teens, millennials, that whole thing. Kind of the same demo as The CW, and rightly so, the show is aimed at that demographic as well. Variety describes it as a superhero love story following the interracial and teenaged couple discovering their powers in their formative years and the complications those powers kind of caused to their lives and their relationship. The show's actually already been ordered straight to series, bypassing the usual pilot phase as it looks like Disney and ABC are hungry to get new content on that rebranded channel. And I'll be honest with you, I'm probably good to check out at least ep one episode, I should say, but it, it doesn't quite sound like my cup of tea. And it's already the most out there move that Marvel has really ever made, but who knows? I mean, the channel is perfect for the show, and they may very well find an audience outside of the usual comic book fandom, and I guess that's a goal of Disney and ABC's as well. But this is where I want to hear from you. Does this sound like something you want to watch? Will you be tuning in regularly, or is this already kind of a meh pass type thing? In our next story, an all-new poster for Kingsman 2 has been tweeted out by none other than the movie's star, Taron Edgerton. The poster depicts a pair of glasses with one lens punched out, accompanied by the quote, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. History lesson for you, that very famous quote is often attributed to Mark Twain, who was correcting a newspaper that was reporting his death, or at the very least, his serious illness. That, alongside the iconic Kingsman glasses missing a frame, would seem to imply that Harry Hart, played by Colin Firth, is in fact not dead. The character seemingly died in the first movie when he was shot by the original film's villain, Richmond Valentine, point blank after the famous church massacre scene. How exactly he'd come back remains to be seen, though it's also possible that the poster is just alluding to some supposed death that's going to befall Eggsy at the beginning of the sequel. And in our last story, which you should take with some office space sized big grains of salt, let's talk about those Suicide Squad reshoots. Originally, it was reported that reshoots started yesterday in Atlanta, though that was quickly updated to reflect the fact that the reshoots are in fact happening just in Los Angeles. As to their purpose, though, we have some conflicting reports. First up, we have some tweets from Brett Schalte, a guy who owns a technology consulting firm that caters to various actors and folks in and around Hollywood. Schalte had earlier in the day claimed to be on the set of Suicide Squad, where reshoots were in fact taking place. And when asked about the nature of the reshoots by BatmanNews.com, Schalte replied with this. Talking to people on set today, they said the studio made him do reshoots because it was too dark. Interesting words. So if we take that as gospel, it would seem to suggest that DC and WB are taking some of the biggest criticisms about Batman v Superman to heart and changing Suicide Squad in the hopes of lightening it up a bit. However, just a bit later, Jai Courtney, who of course plays Captain Boomerang in the film, talked to Entertainment Tonight and told them that the reshoots were just to add or polish up some action scenes in the movie, warning, don't believe everything you read. It's an incredibly interesting and honestly very, very vexing story. I really don't know who to believe. On the one hand, I don't think Shalty would lie about this, and Courtney definitely does have a vested interest in covering up the truth, but at the same time, Shalty could have just easily misheard, misunderstood, or just been flat out told wrong. But of course, tell me your thoughts and predictions for the reshoots in the comments section below, and stay tuned to the Hybrid Network for any and all updates on the story. So that about wraps it up for another Hybrid News Now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you liked what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider supporting us on Patreon for a lot of exclusive goodies like our character bios and a lot of other content a day early. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you later.